are going to go over to the National Assembly to see how the various political parties are reacting to the former president's summons before state prosecutors this morning. For that, we're going to connect to our parliamentary correspondent, Park ji who's standing by at the National Assembly. She's on the phone for us. So, ji hectic scenes in southern Seoul, but I suspect it's a little quieter there. That's right, Mark. During its regular morning meeting, the main opposition, Democratic Party of Korea, urged the former president to officially apologize to the public and to cooperate with the investigation to reveal the truth. The Liberal Party's floor leader, Woo Sang-ho, pointed out that she has disappointed the public by breaking her promises that she would be investigated, urging her to follow her conscience this time to let the public know the truth. The minor opposition People's Party also pointed out that she should be squarely investigated according to the rule of law. The party also says she has never acknowledged the 13 charges she faces, including receiving bribes, nor has she accepted the Constitutional Court's impeachment ruling. The party calls for a stern investigation on the former president. The former ruling Liberty Korea Party, meanwhile, started its meeting around uh, 15 minutes ago here at the assembly, so we will have to hear what they have to say. Well, that's all I have for now, and I will bring you more at noon. Back to you, Mark.